I want to talk about this tree fort a bit. This is my backyard, or the side yard really. And we have this gorgeous huge tree. But up to about a week ago, there was no tree fort in it. So now I've got this thing. And that, uh, this is a seat I made. It's just a, just for sitting, obviously. But it also acts as a, a step, so I can get up here. And then I uh, just put a foot up here. And here we are. So the way this works is... Oops. Foot gets caught in there. The way this works is the supports are here. It's held on by these uh, eye bolts here. And those are those are fine for, for what they are. It'd be even stronger if I used lag bolts and, and put this around the lag bolt, but this is going to be fine. It's not holding up a lot. It's just, it's just this little platform, so. Uh, and then these are... Let's see if I can show this off. There we go. So these are... Uh, there's a little notch in here. And that's to keep the, the rope from sliding around too much. And those are on all four of those. And uh, yeah, so there's four of those supports. One there, one there, one over there. And this one right here. And it's a little bit wobbly. You can see when I wobble on it, you know, it swings a little bit. But it's not too bad. And I mean, you're up in a tree, so you don't want it to be too stable because then you feel like you're really secure and you're not really secure. Uh, and then I've got this little kind of a railing kind of thing. And that's nice because you can sit in the tree and kind of lean on it and uh, relax a little bit or lean up against it. It's, it's not a, like a safety fence. It's not tall enough, but um, it's just a little bit something when you're sitting up here to, to give you something to lean against that's not the, the hard tree trunk. And then uh, this is kind of fun. The kids found the old level three from my old tree fort up in Washington. And uh, so they, they brought it out and I put it up in the tree fort. Maybe we'll find a home for that at some point. But um, I'm hoping to build some more of this tree fort Maybe a, a thing across here, like a platform in that area. Maybe a platform up there in the crest somewhere. Like maybe over here, maybe like have a, a rope ladder or something coming up through here and up to the top. Uh, I don't know yet, we'll, we'll see. But uh, yeah, that's it so far. This is pretty easy to put together. It's just a few screws. Um, I had to measure it out. What I did was I, I dropped a, a plumb bob from here down to the ground. And did that on actually I did this one last, but uh, on all the other eye bolts I, I put them in and then dropped plumb bobs and uh, put marks on the ground and then laid it all out square on the ground and then figured out where this needed to go so that it was square and then put this last one in. So this whole thing, this whole platform is square even though it's all mounted to these weird spots on the tree because I laid it out that way. And uh, I think I'm gonna extend this one out a little ways maybe use that for part of the rope ladder and then put two cables down instead of just one and that should take some of the swing out of this tree fort but you want to be able to move a little bit because when the when the wind blows especially we've got Santa Ana's here so the wind blows real hard sometimes and uh, the whole tree will move and you want it to be able to kind of move with the tree you don't want it to split the tree fort all apart the first time you have a big storm which is what generally happens with uh, with bolted tree forts normal way the other nice thing about this method is that you can you can turn these bolts out as the tree grows, you just turn this lag bolt out a little few times, and uh, it's going to take up a lot of slack in this because it's not going to, it's not going to have to, you know, re rebuild the whole fort every time. You just turn this out a little ways, hook this back up, and you're set to go. And uh, there's plenty of room here to to adjust for growth. I might have to cut this. I, I've noticed this is knocking into the tree a little bit here, and that's no good. So I might have to cut that back a little ways, but. It's uh, it's pretty good. I like how it's turned out so far. It's been a good project. So hopefully more tree fort projects coming soon.